Hello, judges, participants, and organizers of the Miami Bitcoin Hackathon. Hello, fellow Redditors and Bitcoiners worldwide. One of Bitcoin's biggest problems is the fact that it's not valued by itself. Bitcoin's intrinsic value should come through its usefulness. You see, a currency is only as valuable as it is useful, and it's only as useful as it is accepted in exchange for goods and services. The current state of affairs for e-commerce requires participants to have credit cards, merchant accounts, and pay high fees that put e-commerce out of reach in the developing world. And potentially a multi-billion dollar market for microtransactions. Bitcoin has the power to enable the unbanked cash societies to enter a world of global and local electronic commerce. Another problem Bitcoin has is that users in the developed countries don't feel the need to use it. And this is because they have not found out outlets which will let them buy things their credit cards can't. We believe that if we enable any entrepreneur in any part of the world to sell any product, legal product, no matter its price, this will create a powerful cycle of value for Bitcoin and for those economies. Bitcoins will become more useful and necessary as they allow Bitcoin holders to buy more things, which in turn is what makes any currency valuable and useful. The more things you can buy, the more Bitcoin you will need, and the higher the demand for Bitcoin, the higher its value. When you look at internet powerhouses like Amazon, eBay, or even social networks like Facebook, these companies realize that they could create businesses that wouldn't have existed otherwise before the internet. And what they did was they aggregated store owners, content creators, and personal pages into centralized hubs with good enough tools to create what seems like endless catalogs of products and content available 24 seven. But now that we have Bitcoin, we can also create entire new industries. Industries that have the potential to leave the likes of Amazon, eBay, and Facebook right on its tracks. What happens when you can finally decentralize the ownership of content and e-commerce in the world? What if we could have all those WordPress blogs connected to a marketplace that no central entity owns? What if we could have social network profiles that belong to us without censorship, all connected in a marketplace fashion? What if we could have all our online stores all together to achieve the same infinite catalog effect that Amazon and eBay have? And what if those stores would not suffer from the limitations imposed by our old controlling, limited and inefficient banking systems? How do we get there? Well, some of us have heard Andreas Antonopoulos talk about the other six billion unbanked and how they can be empowered by Bitcoin. The truth is, unless you make it easy for those six billion to buy or sell things for Bitcoin, Bitcoin isn't going anywhere. We have built a proof of concept called Seller Trade. A simple decentralized network of stores, which harnesses the power of the BitTorrent DHT network. A proven, free, open source, scalable, decentralized network that connects, today, tens of millions of computers. By adding Bitcoin to the technology stack, we now have a platform that can be used to decentralize commerce and content. The two together are finally here to decentralize legal e-commerce and make it reachable to any entrepreneur in the world. Product listings may be published to the network from any existing e-commerce catalog you may already be using. Store owners can create as many product listings as they can for free. And when they sell their products, they don't need to pay third parties for commission, except for minor fees, which are paid by the customers when they pay. And best of all, the money from the purchases is available in about 15 minutes in electronic cash, Bitcoin, and optionally settable to fiat in any proportion that you choose as a seller, thanks to BitPay. If you have any experience with Amazon, forget about those 30 day settlement periods or eBay accounts frozen due to recent changes in the terms of service. With seller trade, Users don't need to install any special software to access the network. They can access the catalog via a web browser. The entry nodes randomly redirect shoppers to any of the peer stores. These, in turn, act as search servers for the entire network and storefronts for their own products. Bitcoin integration has done simply using BitPay's API. And since we still live in a fiat world, 
all product listings are created and presented to shoppers using US dollars. This way sellers don't need to deal with price changes or exchange rate, rate anxiety. Store owners are required to have a BitPay account by design. This means seller anonymity and illegal goods are not features of this network. It is our goal to connect sellers from everywhere in the world, to put together the longest tail of product offering the internet has ever seen. And there's nothing Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba will be able to do about it unless they integrate Bitcoin.